Good day everybody and welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to apply an inner glow layer style. And um, basically the inner glow creates the appearance of a glow on the inside of an object. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Um, it's self-explanatory I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get your object out here and um, go ahead and apply the inner glow which is right here. And uh, now you can kind of see around the edges of the object there is a glow. And this is what we wanted. Let me uh, put a, a different kind of object in here that we can see the inner glow a little bit better. And then if we increase it and decrease it, it's not going to be so uh, so crazy looking. All right, here we go. This will be easy. All right. And now I'm going to apply the inner glow to this. All right, now we can see around the edges that there is an inner glow. If I uncheck and check the preview, you can see the difference. All right, so the first thing we're going to go over, we've got our blending modes here. And you want to probably stay in the uh, lightning blending modes, which are these ones in this little section right here with light and screen in it. Um, opacity is transparency. And... Um, the next thing we've got is noise and if you add more noise it becomes a little uh, more dottier or blotchier so uh, honestly you don't really want a lot of noise and this section down here you can either you can choose your colors and um, you can choose basically any color you want and it's going to blend with the uh, actual image because you have a blending mode put on it's not going to be the actual color that you pick it's going to be the color that's blended with the color behind um, the next next to this we've got a gradient that we can pick and you can select any of these gradients that you want as you can see here and I'm just gonna stick with the solid color below this we have our technique we've got softer and it says technique used to soften the mask and then we've got precise now precise um, gives the the glow a more realistic look but it's a more complex look so if I do that and change it you can see that's a little more complex and nicer. So we've got edge, which is going to mean that the uh, down here on our source, it's going to mean that the glow is going to come from the edge. And if I hit center, you can see that it's going to come from the center out and then end at the edge. So most of the time, you're going to want edge. You can increase the choke here to uh, um, get a, like a more um, a sharper edge. And then we've got the size here, where we can increase the size of the glow it's for something like that. So then if I increase the choke, you can see that it's a sharper edge, and then you get like a little outline. So that's a little technique that you can use if you ever wanted to use that. Or you could just use a stroke, but um, there's two techniques. We've got our quality here, which is going to do the, the brightness. And we've got some presets here that we can use to check out the different techniques. So here's some different techniques that you can use. Most of the time you're going to want to use linear because that's pretty much the, the way that everybody thinks of using inner glow. We've got anti-aliased here and it makes the uh, edges a lot more smooth. I don't know if you can tell on my screen on the tutorial, but it's actually making the edges a little bit nicer. Range here, um, it determines the how the contour is applied, so it's like a like a value meter kind of thing and as you can see as I go left um, it's a sharper edge kind of like increasing the choke and then if I go farther it's a softer uh, softer uh, inner glow and then jitter down here increases like a random it's like a random value kind of thing doesn't really do a whole lot so uh, that's all the things that you can use to uh, pretty much use your inner glow um, mess with the mess with the contours if you want to create some uh, cool looking things. Um, mess with the uh, different colors to get some cool looking colors. Um, it's all up to you, basically, and be creative and make some cool stuff. So thanks for watching the tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial.